Well, what about the name Corona? Does right. it have a Latin definition or a definition at all? So I actually looked up what's the definition. And on dictionary.com, it brings up 13 definitions. Corona, religiously, ecclesiastically, means gold ribbon at the base of a miter. And I didn't know what a miter was. So I copied it and pasted it and then hit images. So this actually could read the Pope's venom pandemic. It also can read crown. Corona means crown also in Latin terms. Corona means crown. Visually, we see kings represented with a crown symbol. Right. So put that together for me. King Cobra Venom. It actually could read King Cobra Venom Pandemic. <laughs> what? Okay, that's Dr. Ben Artis. Um, and he's talking about the King Cobra Venom that's in, uh, I guess, uh, anything that comes to this COVID-19 pandemic and the things that happen with the vaccine. So there's this uh, QAnon conspiracy document. It's called Watch the Water. And Stu Peters was also in that clip there talking with Dr. Ben Artis about this whole thing. But there's more to this, Maz. There's more to this because the Catholic Church, as you saw, they showed up the Pope and the King and Corona and crowns and venom and snakes. I don't know. There's more, but the Catholic Church has, Church has something to do with this too. Watch. How ironic would it be that the Catholic Church or whoever would use the one symbol of an animal that represents evil in all religion, which is either the snake or the dragon, which is actually just a snake with legs. You take that snake or that serpent and you figure out how to isolate genes from that serpent and get those genes of that serpent to insert itself into your God-given created DNA. I think this is the plan all along was to get the serpents, the evil ones DNA into your God created DNA. And they figured out how to do it with this mRNA technology. They're using mRNA, which is mRNA extracted from, I believe the King Cobra venom, the King Cobra venom. And I think they wanna get that venom inside of you and make you a hybrid of Satan no longer just belonging to God or a creation of God's. Uh, can you make heads wow. and tails of this? Because wait, there's <laughs> dragons, there's there's King Cobra venom. They take the venom from King Cobra's insert into you. So therefore, you're a hybrid of Satan and a Cobra slash dragon, if you believe in those things. I know the dragon squad- It's all very clear. I, I don't know. JR, it's very clear. It's very clear as you can see. <laughs> First of all, Dr. Artis is a chiropractor. He keeps this up, he's gonna be giving chiropractors a bad name. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Secondly, what? it looks like an SNL sketch. This is my, <laughs> listen, I'm all for free press. I'm all for making videos, but this is an argument against just having free reign to put any video anywhere because it is so cuckoo. You know, I don't know, JR, if you know this, but I'm originally from Iran, and in Persian, the word kad means deaf, and una means them. So you take kad, you add, you add una, you get karuna. They are deaf. So this virus, this virus should make you deaf, even though you lose your taste and smell. If, if it were the, the snake venom is going to make you deaf, just go with me on this. And then he and he says a lot of words like this. And I believe, yeah, the, I believe there's no, and no like, you know, there's a research done. And I believe the venom comes from the king snake. What? Why? What? Do you, what kind of goofy? This is the most goofy crap I've ever seen. But I mean, this is this. This supposedly has like. Hundreds of thousands, maybe I don't know how many views, but it said in the article it said it, it had a ton of views. So there's people watching this yeah. and and nodding along, which is uh, not a good thing. It's a bad situation there. If you've seen some of the things that people are believing and pushed about COVID-19 over the past couple of years, maybe it's things like this. You said how many views that 640,000 views. Uh, so this is what Stu Peters was producing. It's this whole documentary about what's going on with COVID-19. But I do want to jump to that third graphic here because this is the meat of what it is that's happening with that. So this whole documentary, it featured nothing more than unsubstantiated assertions 
that put forth fellow COVID-19 conspiracy theorist and chiropractor, as you point out. He's also an acupuncturist and a medical researcher. So he's in that documentary and he's talking about all this. And it's how it's not a virus, but it's a synthesized form of snake venom. And it's intentionally being spread through drinking water. I thought it was just through injections. So anyways, these these treatments <clears throat> is part of that whole plot. And that's where the Catholic Church comes in. And they're gonna turn people into a hybrid of Satan. I don't know why the Catholic Church is into turning people into Satan. I, I thought their biggest issue was how all those priests were molesting those boys and they're trying to cover it up. That's what we could be talking about, but you know. When it comes to that kind JR, of thing. he's a medical researcher. He's a medical researcher in, in search of a degree, a medical in search of a medical degree. This guy, like you said, I think that they've gone because the original conspiracy was that Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci were doing something together. Maybe George Soros was part of it that they created coronavirus, and now I guess they're going to the Catholic Church. But I guess that's because this is a it's a Bible channel or it's a Christian it's a Christian channel. I I don't I don't follow these people. I, I mean I mean I don't follow their thought process because as you said, you got to come up with a new. Here's the big evil, and we are the right ones, and that's why how conspiracy theories work. Like we know the truth, and they don't, and it's all very convoluted. You yeah, know, um, I, I don't know maybe I. I think it'll all lead back to pedophilia because that seems like because <laughs> then that goes to the Catholic Church. It all goes back to pedophilia, and then the Democrats supposedly pedophiles. So it all goes back to pedophilia. Meanwhile, the Republicans are a lot of Republicans are getting arrested for pedophilia. So anyway, it's it's don't mind that part of it. 